So what's the great mystery? I don't know, but I'll ask you. Edgar Weaver, Morgan Gargan. They're really giving you time to take in the full majesty of the credits here. Hey, so this is about the guy who wrote the Phantom Creeps, Batman and Robin, and Captain Midnight. Which explains why you tied us up. That's one of the reasons. Original Foley by Jack Story. Let's go surfing now, everybody's Norman Howe. Grit Hartman is played by Fuzzy Knight? <laughs> he gives a very textured performance. Perk Launder, stimulate your dirty clothes today. They blew the entire effects budget on Henry's font. Hey, we were watching that. If it's so vital to the operation of the Paratron, shouldn't that mean they know what it does by now? What's a Paratron? They probably shouldn't have used those transparent masks. Have a look along the road. Jim's coming down. Where did you go? A couple of high fighters just slugged Bill got away with our pickup truck. And they stole our unridiculous hats. Go with me. Ruth, you come along too. You need her? Oh, I can't stay here, Dad. If something should happen to Jim or both and I I'd launch weasels into space. We got a one truck convoy riding through the night. Mike, a convoy is more than one truck. Apparently not a convoy. Thanks for setting me right. Wait, who's this guy again? That's one of Alaska's great mysteries. Why the crazy fool? I've got to hit him. No, no. Or, <laughs> I don't know. Use the brakes. <laughs> yeah, might as well jump. And they all died. That's all, folks. Check out our YouTube channel right here at W. Oh, damn it. It's log, log. It's big. It's heavy. It's on fire. Now, with the truck to distract the director, I can get out of the series. And now that I've run like a batter of hell to make my escape, let me adjust my seat and my ears, signal, and carefully pull away. <laughs> I think the actor actually has a concussion. <laughs> this is before they invented stuntmen. Help me. Oh, Jim! Jim! Well, come on! Stop yelling! Get in here! Get in where? Oh, hey, this thing's full of floors. Oh, come on, let's get a look at that truck. All oh, right, the truck-looking scene. Oh, we didn't get to see them look at the truck. Are we late for the attempted murder? Why are you hooking? Where's the truck? Right at the bottom of the hill. Did the load get away from you? Not exactly. Oh, we were doing all right till the truck pulled up right in front of us. In the middle yeah, of not the our fault. We were only going 94 we miles an hour in the dark on a dirt road on the edge of a cliff carrying two tons of wood. I am Torgo. It'll be dark soon. It's darker than this? The master would not have... <laughs> Once again, a Foley artist who does not understand what dirt roads are. Oh my god, it's Bad Horse! <gasps> I got young husband. Good work, Brandon. I thought that would make you happy, House. <laughs> How did you do it? I'll tell you the story later. The writers haven't worked that one out yet. Gun sight mine. I'm gonna get rid of that truck I've been using. Hey, hey, hey. You're not Wilbur. Hey. Or aren't you gonna ask first? W Wilbur! Will bad touch, Wilbur! Gun sight mine. Now collapse free for six hours. Hello. Welcome to Fireside Erotica. How could you see anything? 
you men get the watchman. Work fast, but keep quiet. Think globally, but act locally. You too, House. Ow, my foot. Can you watch where you're going? Well, watch where you're... Ow, my foot. As her yearningness slowly... Ain't no Sasquatch gonna get me on my watch. Stop it, Tickle, stop it! Stop tickling me, stop it, stop it! Thank you. Ted's always talking about the Sasquatch. Told him it's really Wolfman you need to be watching out for. Hey, that's way more fun than I thought it was before. There's nothing to be done about the truck. It shouldn't be hard for the men to get the timber out of there. We can get to yeah, right. Tell that to the men. <laughs> Just use that car for timber. Okay, guys, this guy, I can just say trick or treat. No, you did it last time. Look, we can all just say it together. Next year, let's not all wear the same costume. <laughs> I've heard of bump keys before, but this is the first hump key I've seen. Sneaking! Yeah, that really slices through the darkness. That's it. How can you tell? <laughs> the slightly less dark in the darkness in the corner. So they learned nothing from the previous crash. Does things smell like pickles to you? Now we just need to steal 9,000 D batteries. Hey, Bob, you just crashed before. Maybe you should... Shut up. Shandu got this. Boss, boss, we're still supposed to be sneaky, right? Shh. We're going to be sneaky. Oh, for the... Oh. Give, give me a hand with this. Move your horse. Wait, no, you move your horse. I can't see. Back up. Turn around. How? I can't. How do I put this thing in reverse? Have any of you ridden a horse before? Damn it, Carl. I dropped my keys. Sh sh turn around. Go. Come. Shh. Am I pooped? Come on. How long does this take? It's not my fault. You dropped the flashlight. Go. 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 Sasquatch attack. Well, that doesn't account for the watchman. Who watches those guys anyway? Well, here he is. Somebody's knocked him out. Bolson, take care of it. <laughs> okay, I took care of him. Ruth, don't go in there. Pat woman, stay. 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 Whoa, whoa, the cereal has lights? What the hell? Whoa. Have they pronounced this the same way twice yet? I left the oven on. Put it down here. Look carefully. Shh. Nothing must suffer the least damage. This might be the most important discovery of our time. Hot pockets. So you set it up and have it working. Depends on whether you have lost. I took everything from the laboratory I thought would be of value. I'll do the best I can. But Jim, I tell you, I was right here all the time. Reading my questionable pornography. Well, this is terrible. A weapon of such terrific power in the hands of those men. They've already tried to mount it on a horse, and now there's a radioactive mutant Clydesdale bearing down on Juno. Oh, man. Not a Clyde Jew. Uh, if you need any help, sing out. BR to HB. BR to HB. Come in, HB. Sorry, BR. In, this is JR. You okay, must have the wrong number. Also, I've plan. been shot. Good. What about the Paratron? 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 Periatron? Which one is it? And we'll be able to cover every bit of territory within a radius of 100 miles. You do the piloting, I'll do the observing. Then you two can extinguish my buttocks. Perhaps, but why tomorrow night? Well, if they can put the Paratron together, they'll certainly want to use it. And if they do, we'll be able to see that light for 50 miles. What I want to know is where are you going to get the plane? 
I'll go and tell him tomorrow and ask Mr. Brock. So far, he's been able to give us anything we've wanted. Why don't, don't you just ask him for a parachon and we can all go home? Man, if anything comes from the left, I am so ready. How much would a thing like that cost, Doc? How many testicles are you willing to give up? How many do I have? A million dollars. Man, what is it with henchmen and doomsday devices? It's like nectar to them. Hey, did, did someone say doomsday device? You meddlesome pig. I told you to keep your hands off. So where is Dr. House theoretically from again? Transylvania. <laughs> He's been operated. That blundering food hasn't damaged it. Carl, I swear to God, if you weren't my cousin's manicurist, I'd fire you so hard. Ah, oh, my groin! Well, I guess it's all right. You said manicurist correctly. Dr. Miller came north for. It is a secret of the Peloton's miraculous power. Let's see you make it work, Doc. Try it out on that tree up on the hill there. It's blocking my view of Russia. Carl, get us an extension card. <laughs> what, the curtains? No, not the curtains. Oh my god, they baked Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. Take that, nature. Birch, please. That's hot stuff, Doc. Maybe this evening. <laughs> what makes it take? Apparently some form of atomic energy. Da. I should like to have seen Dr. Miller's face when he realized what he had created. I'd like to see him when he realized it was gone. I'd like to see his sweet ass uh, nothing. Probably send it abroad as soon as possible. You know, you can't hide a thing like this. I hope he doesn't take it away from me too soon. I love it. Such a long time has passed since I've worked in it. Come on, let's get these brocks out the door. It's like you're channeling crazy rock. people. That's a lump. Jim Hudson. Send him in. I'm not the bad guy. Sit down. Thank you. How are things going? That's a good. Could you help me rent a plane? No. I'll try. Almost anything will do. It's just for some local flying. Well, I don't want to appear unduly curious, but if I have more of an idea of what you want it for. It's no secret. I want to find Dr. Miller's paratron. Paratron? Yes, you know his invention? You've heard me speak of it. Oh, yes, 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 of course. Uh, don't tell me it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it is. Well, you seem so concerned. Is it that important? It's extremely important. That machine in the hands of the wrong people could be a terribly destructive weapon. Well, but didn't you say that its commercial use was to convey substance through space? It was, until Dr. Miller developed it far beyond that point. But what about now it makes pickles. <clears throat> Hello. Give me 752. Or if he's not home, Don Cheadle. Hello, Paul. This is Brock talking. Say, can you rent me a small plane for local flying? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. He's got a hang glider and a box fan. Will that work? Well, that'll be fine. Ask him if it has landing lights. Does it have landing lights? Well, this scene is super boring, but at least we can yeah, see well, what the hell's going on for once. Jim Hudson will pick it up. Thanks a lot, Mr. Brock. I hate to be always calling on you. Oh, don't mention it. Glad to be of help. I'll go right down and get it. I want to get started tonight before the thieves cover too much territory. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks again. Time for some drawer evil. Now is your chance to test the destructive power of the Paratron. We already vaporized a miniature tree model. If you'd like to test the power of the Paratron, press one. Right. Anything else? No. He always forgets my birthday. Motor and glide in a wide spiral. What? Straight to the ground? Uh, uh, whatever. This would be a lot easier without the freak solar eclipse. <laughs> Hear that plane? There's one up there. 
Something about the hot food. It would be a simple thing to find out. Train that gadget on the rocks over there. Just a flash. So I see. You think they're experimenting. That's the idea. Hey, my rocks. <laughs> Again. This time on Carl. I just saw a beam of light. I'm sure it's the paratron. He's seen it. He's cut his motor. I've seen it. I've cut my motor. What's that building down there? That's Captain Midnight Secret Headquarters. Damn it. That ought to be the old Kurtz Ranch. Did the light come from there? No. Stupid woman. Further over the hill. Over the river, through the woods. Here he is. Paul! My mistake, just a Hollywood premiere. Crap, it only works on miniature model trees. And rocks, and Carl. Good shooting, Doc. It's fine, it's all fine. It's all under control. Just gonna make a controlled landing. Too bad that mountain cuts off the view of the fireworks. Yeah, what are the odds the heroes escape certain death eight times in a row? Thank you for flying Delta. Thank you for watching. We are Team Swizzle Beef. You can see the rest of our videos right here on this very YouTube that you are watching us on right now. And Shrepid Asylum is coming up next with Chapter 9.